Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Thank you for tuning in today. You are now listening to That Will Never Work podcast with your host, Maurice Chisholm. Hello, everyone. How are you today? You know, today is um, a very interesting day. I had a conversation with an individual a few days ago, and this has really been on my mind. And I'm going to give it to you from this scenario. The reality is in order for us to achieve what we want, what do you need to do to get to that point? So, again, I'm going to give it to you from this scenario. I had seen it as a Facebook reel. The Facebook reel has ex-NBA basketball player Katino Mobley. A pretty decent player. I mean, really decent player. Um, He played for the Houston Rockets. I believe it was the same time as uh, Steve Franchise. Like, I really like that that duo. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve Francis. (laughs) His nickname was Steve V. Franchise. So, he was asking. So, so Katino Mobley in his Facebook reel was asking these uh, kids, do you practice on your dribbling? Do you shoot 100 free throws every day? Every time you leave the gym, every time, I mean, I'm sorry, before you leave the gym, are you hitting, are you shooting 100 free throws? Are you practicing on your dribbling? Are you putting yourself in, in uh, game time situations? My question to you today, are you practicing your craft every day? So, Maurice, what are, what are you practicing every day? What are you doing every day? So, in order for me to become a better podcaster, I have to speak on this microphone Every day, every other day. My content has to get better every day as I am doing my research, as I am reading books, as I am taking in content that is positive for me to speak about, to talk about, not just from my own experiences, but other experiences and being able to speak. I would love to become a motivational speaker in public i believe i can do it on the microphone because i don't see faces but how do i get better i need to be able to put myself on camera more frequently and and to become a better speaker in public that doesn't mean i haven't done it that doesn't mean i still don't have uh moments of anxiety or doubt or whatever the situation might be But I have to practice. I have to study. And I have to go out and execute one way or another. So for me, speaking on this microphone every day, every other day, increases my chances of me becoming a better speaker. Me studying every day researching every day helps me be, to become a little more knowledgeable when I do speak I have something to say so today are you practicing are you studying are you becoming a student of the game that's the other part that you know they say about um, athletes do you become a student of the game do you understand Uh, those individuals that have come before you in order 
uh, to understand where they have been to where they are currently. Have you become a student of the game? Are you practicing your free throws? Are you dribbling? Are you, even before you even get to that point, are you even stretching? Are you working out? Are you lifting your weights? So Maurice, you know, I don't know how how, how to start. I don't know where to, to begin. Well, what is your goal? Break down your goal into small bite-sized steps and find out what is the smallest step or the step that you can complete so that when it is completed, you can say, hey, I at least started on the on my good foot. So today I encourage you to find a way to become the greatest person you can. We are going into the last few months of the year. Are you ready to make a change when it comes to the uh, the turn of the year? It's not an easy process. It is not a um, a journey that will not be fulfilling. Like it, it's going to be a fulfilling journey, ultimately, right? Because you've put in the work and when it's time for you to execute, you can execute it. It may not always be the greatest, but you've got it done. I encourage you to 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 take that step today. Practice, practice, practice. Now, people may say, hey, you know, what, Maurice, uh, Alan Iverson, uh, that was a famous quote of his. Right. You know, we're talking about practice, but. If you listen to his interview and put into context what he talked about practice, and I'm not going to tell you what what the context was. I would like for you to, again, do your research and find out what was the real context of that quote that he was that he mentioned. And on top of that, are you as good as he was anyway? Some people are just natural talents. So are you that natural talent where you feel so, hey, I don't need to practice. I don't need to do this, that, and the other. Again, we're still, I mean, for for him, he wasn't, it wasn't like he wasn't talking about he wasn't going to practice. But again, you have to understand the, the content and the context. And I challenge you to do that, to, to, to do that research. So if you want to sit in this seat, or a seat like it, not my seat, but a seat like it, are you willing to put in the work? Are you ready to practice? Let's go outside in the freezing rain. And shoot free throws. Let's go outside in the field on a hundred de- uh, hundred degree day and run sprints. What is it going to take for you to get to where you would like to be? And that's hard work. Let's go get it today. I encourage you to. And guess what? I believe in you that you can do it. Thank you. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.